Good morning, afternoon, or evening. It doesn't matter what time it is, you have chosen a great time to receive an encouraging message from the Word of God. We hope that these short messages will speak life into every one of your hearts and that you will be blessed by it. This is the LCC devotional series. Good morning. It's December. It's Christmas. I know many of you have mixed feelings when you know Christmas time comes. Some are thinking of the expenses that can be incurred because it is Christmas. But I have a good news for you today. Today we will talk about love. The greatest gift humanity ever received is God's only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let's talk today about that love, the greatest gift God has ever given. When we think of Christmas, let us not think of the commercialized Christmas, but let us go back to the original, the first Christmas, and it's the birth of God's only Son, Jesus incarnate, Jesus made flesh. Father God in heaven, I pray that as we ponder on this word today, that we will be encouraged, we will be revived, we will be refreshed, and all the more, we will be, O oh Lord God, encouraged to kneel down and bow before you, the only King, the Almighty God, the Messiah, the Savior. Be with us in this short exhortation. In Jesus' name, Amen. As we talk about love today, especially in this season of Christmas, I want, it, I want you to see this love with regards to also in conjunction to our free will and also the choices that we make. I want to read a portion from Mary's prayer in Luke chapter 1 verse 46. After he heard of the news that, he wa that she is pregnant, that she is going to birth, the Savior of the world, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, then this is her response. She said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for He has regarded the lowly state of His maid servant. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The greatest gift we receive is love. And the greatest gift we can also give back to God is love. And we know he gave us a clear commandment. If we truly love God, we should also love our neighbors. That is the greatest commandment. And the greatest gift we can give God this Christmas is to love our neighbor. I remember the verse in Galatians 5.13. The Apostle Paul penned these words and the verse read like this. For you, brethren, were called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. So as we talk about the word love, Love without service, love without obedience, love without acting upon it is just, you know, is meaningless. When God demonstrated His love, He gave His best. This Christmas, what is that something that we can give? I'm not talking about material things. Maybe you might say, I don't have an extra budget this Christmas to show love. Love is not something that can always be bought. Maybe it is something that you need to give from within, like forgiveness, service, 
you know, gentleness, the fruit of the Spirit within you that will make God smile. Maybe there is somebody this Christmas that you have not been talking to for a long time. And this is time to reconcile. Love is about forgiving. Love is about giving. Love is about sacrifice. So what is that something that you can sacrifice so that you can show love to that person? Ask yourself this Christmas, more than, you know, the gift giving, more than the material things, more than the celebration and the festivities, what is that something? And you know, I can suggest you one thing. Prayer is one great show of how much we love the person. When we don't give up in prayer that somebody, that we fight on our knees for that somebody, because we love her, we love you. This is the greatest gift. A gift that nobody can see. Only you and God. But when we pray for that somebody this Christmas, the hand of God is that somebody. And the Lord will cause something to make that somebody come into His fold. Are you praying for the salvation of your loved ones? Pray this Christmas. Kneel down before God and I ask for this soul. So this is what God wants. More than the material gifts, what they really needed is salvation. So I pray and I encourage you, especially LCC, let us pray. May the love of God permeate the deep recesses of our hearts that we will have a burden to kneel down and pray for our lost loved ones. What greatest gift can we give God this Christmas than His very heart? His very heart is you and me, the lost souls still, who are still in the world who did not come back to Him yet. He is waiting for them, and His hands and His feet are you and me. A blessed Christmas.